Hi there, in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to use all of Elementor's free widget elements. It's the number one page builder for WordPress in the world, and you can get it by going to dualfox.com forward slash Elementor. There you'll be able to download the free Elementor plugin. It's gonna let you build a beautiful WordPress website, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So please do like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and now without any further ado, let's get straight to it and dive on in. In this last video of the Elementor playlist where I've shown you how to use all of Elementor's free widget elements, we're gonna have a look at creating a sidebar. Now, in modern website designs, you usually don't see sidebars very much. A website that springs to mind that uses them loads, and a great one, if you're wanting to learn how to uh, use WordPress when you're new, is WP Beginner. They always have sidebars, and you can create things like this. But if you want a website that has a full width uh, page layout and only occasionally has a sidebar coming into play, that is where the Elementor sidebar widget comes into its own. So what we could do is open up and create our columns. Doesn't matter how many we want to choose. In this instance, I'm going to go with one that's uh, wider on the left and narrower on the right. And then what we want to do is come on up to our widget toolbar, search for sidebar and click and drag it on into that particular column. Then it asks you to choose your sidebar. So there's quite a few to choose from. In this instance, I'm just gonna go with the main sidebar. Now, I've not got anything loaded up here, but we can see that that immediately drags it on in. If you don't know where to find this, I'll show you quickly. Let's update this and exit to the dashboard. So what you wanna do is come back to your WordPress dashboard, come down to appearance, and there you're gonna find widgets. So click on widgets. Uh, it gives you a long list here. What you see is going to depend uh, upon your theme and things, but you can click and drag them on into your main sidebar, or you can do them into your, your header, your footer, different footer areas. What you see is going to vary. Um, so for example, I'm just for this website using the, uh, the Astra theme, uh, which is an amazing theme. In fact, I think it is the best free theme for WordPress that there is. Um, they do also have Astra Pro, which is one of the best premium themes. It's up there with the likes of Divi, uh, but that gives you loads of extra things like sidebar managers, widget managers. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description to Astra. Highly recommend you uh, use that as a theme. Uh, but yeah, so that's where you find widgets. It's just under appearance. So when you've gone there, click and drag the ones you want, put them on in, and then let's head back to our page. So I'll go back to here, edit with Elemental. So that's why it's clicked and dragged through these. Uh, obviously, I haven't loaded up any blog posts to this dummy site, which is why they're not showing. But if you do have blog posts and you've loaded up your archive page, they're going to start displaying there. When you've done this, we can now put content on the other side. So for example, we could obviously have a title, whatever it might be. We could then have text. Obviously, something else we could probably put in an image. And let's just finish this off with a Google map so that you get the idea. So obviously you just put in the content that you want over there, preview changes. And now we see that we've started to get a website where we've got content on this side of our page and then you've got your sidebar over there. If you want, we can move this around though. It doesn't have to be on the right. So you could simply uh, come on up to our columns and start changing the width up here, or we can click and drag and that's gonna move this around. Or if we want this to come over to the left, we could have done that as well. So for example, let's say we have three columns. Well, there's nothing stopping us putting a sidebar over on the left. So let's drag one in, sidebar, do the same thing. Main sidebar, again, put content over here that you want. And now if we take a look, scroll on down and there we go. We've now got our sidebar on the left. And as you saw, we could have also put it in the middle if we'd wanted to. So it's all possible. Really easy to do, as of course everything is with Elementor. That is what makes it the very best page builder that there is for WordPress. And I'd just like to thank you for watching this video and if you've watched any of the other videos in this playlist. If you haven't yet, I've gone through all of the free elements that we have here. Elementor allows you to make incredibly beautiful, easy to use and responsive websites. And if you're ready to take it up to the next stage and create something absolutely amazing that's gonna help you to get more conversions, email subscribers, sales, whatever it is that you're wanting from your website, then I suggest you check out Elementor Pro. They've got different packages for everybody here and it unlocks so much extra potential for your web designing. And most importantly, so that you get the results you actually want.
So I will put a link in the description to uh, that playlist. I've got a whole tutorial series on Elementor Pro so you can learn how to take your website to the next level. Thank you very much again and until next time, goodbye.